Beneath Site P is an underground city, five cubic miles in size, carved out using an alien technology laser drilling machine. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Maneater. This is episode 17, and it might be the last episode. I'm getting kind of conflicting information from the game on that regard. So let's see, are we still at 37% for our truth quest? Yeah, this still says 37%, so... I don't know if that's just broken, because the counter, like, that pops up when we load in says 97%, but I don't know if that's just this area. Don't even start. God damn it. I was like, he's thinking about it. Yeah, enjoy that, fucker. Alright, so to finish up this area at least, we need to kill our last two infamy targets and then possibly fight the Moloch. I had forgotten that we actually got a name for that thing. So let's see. Um, I guess there's nowhere to go. We just need to start shit with the humans. So this is the first episode I'm recording after the whole fucking stupid ass tripwire thing with the CEO being a dumbass, but... I mean, he stepped down, but he still owns the company, so he still makes money off of it, even if he's not CEO, and there's not really anything you can do about that. These are dark but it's still shitty. Dark I'm just, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Alright, so... Our infamy is mostly filled out already. That's, you know, I made a point to do that last time. So, it shouldn't take us long to get this first person to show up. Holy shit, I'm taking a lot of damage. That was, like, just from getting shot by the helicopters. There are some torpedoes in the water, though. I think that still hit me because it hit the ground next to me. <laughs> Remember, we also have a regeneration organ. It's not doing very much. But again, like, this is the game. It's start a fight, then spend, like, five minutes healing back so you can continue the fight. It takes so long to heal. I wish there was something that just made you get more health out of whatever you eat. Because that would be way more useful here. I like that they're called sailors even when they're in the helicopters. Everyone's a sailor here on Site P. Me too. It's just like, in the seconds it takes to digest somebody, you take so much damage where you can't dodge. So I'm not looking forward to having to do this for the entire episode, basically. That time I was actually just trying to grab the torpedo. Alright, there we go. I guess if I just attack the boats fast enough, we can get our health back from the... Man. Health chest that drops out. Is he just in another boat? Oh, he's in a big boat. 
One that looks like it's gonna deploy submarines at me. Something combat ship is what it said. Literal combat ship. Level 100. Great. I mean, it's kind of big enough that I can just stay under it and grab the torpedoes. Not to mention, just blast it. Speaking of blast it... Okay, it's nice that you can dodge while you're charging up. Jackbooted thugs don't stand a chance against America's patriotic fish. That was pretty quick. Like I said, he's a little too large. It actually makes him a very easy target. Okay, so if we can just continue our chaos here. We should be able to get the infamy right back up. I'm trying to target that damn lightning ball. What? How are you doing that? How are you bouncing out of the water? Not too far away. But yeah, it auto-targets the ship, so it's really hard to nail the lightning ball. Probably just shoot the Seahawk down by tail blasting it. Oh, Should have had it there. There we go. I mean, it's almost down as well. We also get that little explosion of atomic energy when we hit a boat. It's one of our other abilities. I mean, that charges up pretty quickly, honestly. Okay, there's a lot of torpedoes coming down now. Also, those uh, healing chests don't seem to disappear quickly, so we can kind of just leave that there until we need it. Gotta target it. It's a shame we can't do like a deep blue sea thing and just launch people at windows. There's not really an opportunity to do that, you know, when they launch the uh, researcher into the window on his stretcher. That was a great part of the movie. I love Deep Blue Sea. It's not a like amazing movie, you know, it's not a award winning kind of movie, but I enjoy it every time I watch it. It is the right kind of, just take a regular animal, make it a bit big, and make it a monster. All 
right, we're almost up to Infamy 5. His human Caught the electrical field. The gazes with okay, so I think they do despawn after a while. Proclaims his ship the ship of <laughs> Also, I don't think the helicopters drop hell. Oh, they do. Grab that. Hit it. There we go. No Yet. What kind of giant, ridiculous boat or helicopter are they going to have? Nope. Did she not actually show up? Do I have to go to the... <laughs> Location. I don't seem to be getting any infamy at this point from attacking these. If only, like the shark, we too rebel against the alien threat, we can reawaken humankind. Wow, it seems like just grinding against the boat does a lot of explosions. Like, if I just keep jumping like that? Come on, sperm whale. All right, so I guess we have an actual mission to fight this last person, which is, uh, you know, I prefer that over just another generic fight. At least have some kind of setup. Because I will say that Jaws Unleashed was much better about actually having like, scripted missions where you're doing specific things instead of just generic fight ten people. Like, it had those too, but they were just labeled as challenges and they weren't essential to progress. But I guess this is, uh, this is the last mission for this area. So maybe we are gonna fight the Moloch somewhere else. It could just be that this is a large boat or something that we're gonna have to fight, so they're taking us to the area that's large. That she wouldn't fit in a smaller area. The Dark Brotherhood will carry out their global coup d'etat by any means they deem necessary. Wow, it literally just sent me here for that, exactly what I just said. Just a bigger fight arena. Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. Admiral Terra Nova. Oh, she just got another one of those, I think. I don't know which one's her. I'm gonna assume it's that one, because it's the biggest ship here. Oh my god, that was a lot of torpedoes. I mean, it's good for me, as long as I can dodge all of them. Also here, we can kind of get some depth if we don't want to explode. Oh, they're too far away. Might want to take out these just to get some health back, if I can find them. One did not drop health. Okay. I gotta be honest, I do not know how to fix a shark. You say I don't know how to sink a shark? We're not really trained for this, ma'am. Oh shit. I got stuck on the stupid wreck that's not sinking for some reason. It's like it's floating by the nose. 
But yeah, we have a lot more room to, you know, grab health without getting constantly shot here. Because they can't aim this deep. I don't know if it's better to just spam shots like that. Or if I should charge them up longer. Okay, where's that helicopter? I really need a health pack. They didn't drop help. It seems like her uh, reinforcements are not coming that quickly, which is good. Oh boy. Gotta feed off the corpses. Alright, help back. Now we just have to finish her off, because she's already almost dead. If I can find the ship... If I can, I'll let you know. Where is the target? Did I get stuck on something? I don't see the... Literal anymore. There it is. Got pretty far away. Hey, everyone! Admiral's calling us. The bioweapon has reached America's shores, perhaps having already unleashed a rapid viral agent upon the citizenry. Now, the NWO will hold the country ransom. Offering the vaccine in exchange for That's her. All right, we've killed everybody. I guess we're going back to the main map now. That's why we're at 100%. I mean, I actually do like the grab torpedoes and throw them at the boats Are mechanic sure? because you're actually right doing location. something. But again, in the main game, if I remember correctly, they didn't introduce that until literally the final boss fight with Scaly Pete. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. Because as much as I complained about throwing barrels at shit in Jaws Unleashed, at least you were doing something there beyond just bite and smash. But you also had more combat moves in that somehow. Alright, so... Gonna cross the Gulf. What's our truth quest say now? 44%. Oh man, so we're gonna have to go through a bunch of missions in the old areas now. So <laughs> they really extended out the length of this DLC suddenly. I guess this is why there are truth questers in this area as well, is because you're gonna have to go through it anyway. I was kinda hoping that we were almost done. But then again, I don't think we're going to have to do any grinding. We're just going to have to do the missions. And hopefully, we don't have to do any more infamy targets. Because honestly, that's the most tedious part. There's a lot of investigate areas. Like, a lot. <laughs> we're going to have to investigate every area. I think we have enough minerals now to upgrade the tail again. I think it was 25,000 I needed. Yeah, 
fancy hammerhead to give you minerals as well. I don't know why, specifically. Ooh, somebody gooped up this area good. This could be the bioweapons doing, sure. But first, perhaps I should consult my friend, a world-renowned expert on the subject of ancient giants. I thought he was going somewhere with that, like there was going to be a bit after it. Or it was just going to be him with a mustache, but of course you can't really do that in audio only. Alright, so we follow the trail of slime. The bioweapon appears determined to disperse its infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. Destroy the sonar beacon. Alright. We're just like following a trail of objectives, which, you know, at least we're kind of doing things in an order. And it's not like, okay, now go to this random other part of the map to destroy ten sailors, then come back. We're actually like following a trail of slime. You see a lighthouse. I see a monument to the engorged phallus of Osiris the Sun. Hmm, more likely Serunos. What are these? Which My is the god who's powerful <laughs> influence. Also the origin of the term horny. To make us hate America and love. Alright, so this is just another beacon. It's kind of a might as well destroy it while we're here. I kind of wanted to see what we look like <laughs> charging in midair, but this'll do, except this damn sailor. Alright, well, let's just continue on our trail. Also, this is completely tangential, but Rust recently added, like, a whole underwater bases and sharks and submarines thing. So I've kind of been wanting to get back into it. And I was going to say, if anyone knows, like, an actual good server where it isn't just a bunch of, like, shitty admins that have their own circle jerk of friends that basically get to do whatever they want, let me know. Because I'd like to dig into that a little bit. Wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen-mimicking endocrine disruptors. Are you saying that the bioweapon is trying to turn the frogs gay? Because I've heard that's something we're supposed to be concerned about, according to other conspiracy nut jobs. <laughs> Like, there's all these people who are basically almost self-parodies, but the problem is they're not parodies and people take them seriously. So, you know, it's less of a haha -ha joke when you realize that people are actually eating this shit up and going, yes, this is correct. This is what I believe. The Idiocracy is now. Man, what a great movie. What a great movie that's not actually that great as a movie, but as an idea. Nope. Oh, we also got some random side missions popping up. All my 100%s are... Uh, I was going to say going away, but no, it's still at 100%. Alright, let's do these time trials. I actually don't mind these so far, because none of them have been particularly difficult. They're just kind of boring. 
Like, we're not doing any kind of tricky navigating, except for when we have to jump onto a bridge. That's the only hard part. Say the shark's poor technique really limited her swim speed. Also, I'm pretty sure we're faster when we're on the surface, but it might just look a faster because you have more of a reference for the speed. I don't even really remember this like Coney Island area. Looks like she's in a war. I landed on my head and I flipped around. Oh boy. It's okay, we got 10 seconds to figure this out. That's another clip for this shark's highlight reel. Another one there. There's a atomic shadow orca, I guess. Seems a little weird that they're not only using the existing mutation sets, but then just adding Atomic to them. Well, Orcas have not given us much trouble. Unless it starts shooting lasers back at us, that might be a problem. Uranium-235 test subject, the Irradiated Shadow Orca. Irradiated Orca. You think that means that they're pretty resilient against our atomic beams? All right. Did you have to do a charge up attack right when you were in good position for a shot? Yeah, it's definitely not gonna fly, but I'll still take it anyway. Oh, he shot a blob at me. Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbert. You see, Hibbert owns 50 shares in Schlumbergen, who's owned by Exico, who Too are far partners away. with Saxwell Gold and Barcom, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsifex. Therefore, Hibbert made money. Oh no, he's got a friend. <laughs> I just see that, like, on the edge of my screen. You guys can't see the control panel, but it does take up a slice of the left side. Yeah, it doesn't look great when it's all green. Love books, but don't love to read. Autolist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like David Scaduto's Red Time, the Soviet plot to sink the Edmund Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, that does not hurt him very much. This may look like a friendly local bait shop, but it's actually that hurts a him, satanic though. temple of death, terror, and animal sacrifice. In this time of great uncertainty, you owe it to yourself and your loved ones to protect your financial future. Inflation okay, so he still causes the lead. Debased the value of paper currencies as part of the shadow set. have been flocking to cowrie ships since 1200 BCE. The cowrie is the most widely used currency in history. With their dedicated service, competitive pricing, and no cost guarantee. You'll see why Nautiline has been an industry leader for over 35 years. Like, half of his lines are just fake ads that are supposed to be, like, you know, YouTuber sponsors. him down with these tail blasts. Especially because if I do it when he's doing it, I do like double damage. Dead. Radiated shadow orchids are the world's second most radioactive food behind Brazil. Killed another challenger to our rule as Supreme Mutant.
We'll hit this up on the way just so we don't have to do it later. So I'm guessing then this is not going to be the final episode, which is fine. As long as we're not just doing the same thing in the same place, we're doing the same thing in a different place that we've been to before. This predator really needs to push the pace. Land is still not our strong suit, as you might expect for a entirely marine creature. She looks full of adrenaline. Out of the way, boats. I'm trying to race. Who am I racing? Nobody, but myself. My own expectations is what I'm racing against. Something else. The big fish masterfully demonstrates how to splash and dash. I like how every time I come out of one of those, the shot is just me doing a fucking flip and landing on my head. All right, gotta kill some more sailors. Our eternal nemesis. Seamen. Trying to take over the ocean as their own. Like those nut job fishermen who think that natural predators eating the fish that they catch are or, you know, like, the fish that they're going to be trying to catch in an area is those animals stealing from them as though they own the fucking ocean. Like, no, you don't. You are literally destroying the natural order of things to harvest hundreds of fish at a time. So, yeah, I don't think you can get pissy at the otters for eating your fish. But that's natural human entitlement for you. are a little hard to grab just because they're on such a small sliver. Even when you're on shore for some R&R, &R, you're not safe from the shark. Folks, I don't know about you, but I have a small saxitoxin-filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoid's copper mine. Consume 10 sailors. Consume 10 sailors. Investigate. Like, again, the consume 10 sailors thing would be annoying if it wasn't for the fact that it's very easy to do that quickly. <laughs> and then just jet out of there. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. I see a yacht. Are we gonna have to sink that yacht? Oh no, there's already a yacht that's been sunk. Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots. Yes. Clearly they sunk it and not just the out of control super predator. All about its rogue shark for now. Okay, so the grotto is just over here. We're going to go in there and upgrade. Only here do I feel safe enough to upgrade. All right, 28,000. So that's maxed out now. Which means we have the full, fully upgraded atomic set. And now we can just put our upgrades into this stuff. Which one is this? This is the regeneration. Oh, don't have enough yet. Need 20,000 for that. 
So now we just have a big old spike stuck to our tail. Alright, now how do we get back out? Couldn't find the entrance. Alright. Uh, let's kill some more sailors, and some more sailors, and then I think we'll call it for this episode. To my surprise, the truth quest continues. I like how this is just, like, 20 armed sailors standing on a small stretch of beach. Like, what are you guys doing here? The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth. What is this training exercise? For amusement ride Alright, that's eight. The Off we go then. To Osmo regulate is of little help when out of the water. Come on now. Yeah, so we'll do this and then we have to start going inland through the maps as well. Gotta keep going straight. I don't know how good I am at using my eyes. Not used to that. It's almost as difficult as independent thought. Time to wrap it up, I suppose. With little fans, another And as soon as <laughs> we're in the clear, we kill again. Now a dangerous lawless trigger having to begin shooting any I guess it is the bounty hunters coming after us here, not the NWO. Which means no super boats. Enjoy the Ferris wheel. Ah, uh, he didn't actually hit it. Alright. So I think to wrap things up, we're gonna go to the grotto up here, and then we'll continue investigating the trail of the Moloch. But yeah, it was an okay DLC so far. Didn't really add anything new, it just kinda remixed a few existing things and added one little new area. That was mostly just a bunch of conspiracy jokes. Some of them were funny. You know, I like the, uh, the very blatant, honest signs that they had. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Close. I don't know if we can cross this bit of land. There are some that have invisible walls just to force you to go around, usually when it's an area transition. But this is, I think, technically the same, yeah, same area, so it shouldn't block us off. That way you can't, like, get across there when you're smaller. Love books, but don't love to read? Autolisk.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Griffin Webster's Dark Shroud, The Secret Agenda of the U.S. Postal Service. Man, this place looks so shallow when we're at max size. So we investigate that. And then we have to fight a atomic electrical great white. So they're not even gonna use the rest of the sets. I mean what? We have electric, bone, and shadow, right? Was there another set? The tiger skin doesn't have a set, it's just a body, so. I guess not. Now, for some reason, I just remember there being four sets. Not including the atomic one. Where is this hole? Where the grotto hole at? I mean, you gotta look for the glowing cable. But I'm not seeing it, so it's probably on the other side. So I'm just gonna fast travel here and hope it saves. How did this beach ball get trapped in here? 
All right, so looking at our log, we are now 63% through our truth quest. I like how only 30% of that was from doing the entire new area. Golden Shores Hunt, Golden Shores Revenge, Investigate Area, Dead Horse Lake, Failure to Communicate, Investigate Area, Complete Prosperity, Sands Revenge, and Kill the Leviathan. Yeah, so I guess this is just us working up to fighting the actual boss. So, thank you for joining me for another episode of Man Eater, and I'll see you next time in what will probably not be the final episode, but who knows, could be, depending on how quickly we blast through these. Again, we don't have to do any more tedious fights, so maybe it won't take too long. But until next time, y'all take care. Thank you.